What's up guys, welcome to the Tech Corner. This for the very first video, we're gonna get into a underused app. In my opinion, a very powerful app, Siri Shortcuts. And pretty much what the Shortcuts app allows you to do, it allows you to shorten the tasks that you would do on your phone. So that might sound a little bit vague, but when I get to actually show you how the app works, you'll see how much faster and more efficient it can make your phone actually move for you. So the first thing that you're going to need to do if you don't already have the app installed is type shortcuts in the search bar of the app store and you're going to scroll until you get right here. So this app right here, shortcuts. So as you can see, I already have it installed. So let's open it up. All right. So before we get into the shortcuts I already have and the ones I'm going to show you guys, Let's actually look at what Apple already has. So when you go into the app, Apple already has a whole gallery and list of shortcuts for you. And just different shortcuts. For example, as simple as sending a message to a contact in your phone, a shortcut to play an album for you, a shortcut, let's see this one, shortcut for reading mode. Right here it says, focuses on reading by setting how long you want to read for it. Turn on Do Not Disturb enables dark mode, starting your favorite reading playlist and opening your preferred reading app. So just by clicking a button, you can do all that in one task. Um, but thankfully, there's a lot of people and a lot of develop developers out there who have started to make their own shortcuts and gotten very advanced and complex with them. So I'm going to show you guys a few of my um favorite shortcuts that work for me personally. So the whole thing with the shortcut shortcuts app is you want to find apps that work for you, that works for your lifestyle, what you do with your phone, how you can get your phone to be more efficient for yourself. So let's get into them. As you can see, I got a lot of them. So the first one I'm going to get into is a uh, Instagram downloader. So I'm not sure if there's a bit of uh, I'm not sure if there's an app that allows you to actually download videos off of Instagram, but um, I like to download a lot of videos off of Instagram sometimes and repost them on my page. A lot of like music videos or 60 second music clips or sports clips to post them on my page just for myself to view later. So I'm going to show you guys how I do that. Alright, so right now you can see we're in the Instagram app and somebody has posted the video. That's the first thing on my feed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this video to my phone. So I'm going to hit the three dots in the corner and I'm going to hit share too. So just like you can share videos off of Instagram in different ways through messages and things like that, we're just going to share it to the shortcut that we want to use. So I'm going to hit share too. And now I'm going to click on the one I want to use. It's listed as IG Download 1. It's running the shortcut now. The video that you just saw on Instagram is now in my photo library in the click of a button. All right, so another one that's actual, actually useful for Instagram, say, for example, you just want to get quickly to um, your Instagram, your Instagram IG um, story camera. You see something outside, you want to take a selfie picture or something of yourself and you want to save time from opening the app to actually clicking the story even though it's only a, it's a quick process but we could just make this a little bit faster so what I'm going to do you can all you can also add this to your widget so I'm going to swipe right and as you can see right here I have the IG story camera so I'm just going to click that and there you go you can see that right here it's opened up the camera and I can easily use that for myself and another shortcut that's useful for right now is an app called Police. So what this app allows you to do, it allows you to record your encounter with any time a police pulls you over. So I'm not actually going to click this button because it triggers things that I don't want it to trigger right now. But just to give you an a overall description of what it actually does do, when you click, when you click on the app, basically what's going to happen is it's going to lower your brightness down to zero and it's going to put your phone on do not disturb from there it's going to open a video the self-facing video camera and it's going to start to record uh, while it's recording it's also going to send a text message to whoever you set it to send text messages to in the setup 
and it will text those people and let them know that you're being pulled over by the police and your location. After the encounter is over and you hit stop on the video, it will then save the video to your camera roll and also to a Dropbox uh, file in case you need to use it later. So it's definitely um, a useful app and something I think everybody should have. Another app that I have, like I said, I like to download um, another shortcut I have. The, I like to download a lot of videos. So say for example, I want to post something on my Instagram and there's a YouTube video that I want to use clips from. Alright, so we got some Allen Iverson highlights right here. Let's click on his top 10 career plays. So I'm going to hit the three dots to share. Once again, I'm going to share it to my shortcut. So when you share from certain apps, sometimes you won't get the share sheet to pop up right away. So what you'll need to do is you're going to have to go here where it says more. You're going to click more. And now we have that share sheet. And I'm going to click on it right now. So now we're just going to let it run. So this app could give you video or audio. For me, I want the video, so I'm going to click on video. And there's two options that I have. I could save it to my camera roll, or I could save it to my files app, which they already created a folder where all my downloads from this shortcut would go to. So let's save it to the camera roll for easy access. And sometimes it might take it a while, so you just give it time, as you can see. We got it right here. There we go, right there. Out Novison top 10 plays. So another shortcut that would be useful for a lot of people, say if you're like me and you struggle with getting up in the morning and you need you need to set some alarms, but you want to set a few alarms back to back. What you can do with this app is set all the alarms at one time instead of having to set every alarm individually. So I'm gonna click on the alarm on the shortcut. Say for example I got to get up at 6 in the morning. I'm going to put 6 a.m. Press OK. So for me let's say it takes me about five to six alarms to get up. I'm going to hit six alarms. I'm going to hit OK. And then as you can see everything is in five minute intervals. I actually used this for a test before. That's why you see double. But normally it wouldn't come up two times. The only reason it comes up two, it came up two times, because I was actually showing this to, to somebody. But what you would see, you would see six o'clock, six o five, six ten, six fifteen. You wouldn't see double of every um, every alarm. Another useful um, one that I like. This one you may not actually need to use it. It's something I feel like you could say is probably one of my most unuseful ones but I actually think it's cool that I can control my phone I can, I think that it's cool that I can control my Mac from my phone and what you would do here is you would click on the ultimate Mac tool we're gonna hit tools we're gonna click on my MacBook Pro we're gonna enter the password that's the only thing I probably don't like about this one is that it displays your password instead of dots it shows the actual password even though I know I'm the only one who has access to this I think um, just for security purposes it would be a little bit better if it was just dots however you're gonna hit continue okay and let's say um, I'm at a friend's house I don't want them to have my password to the Mac I'm a private person so I'm gonna unlock it for them I'm gonna hit unlock it's actually asking me for my password again and there you can see right there on the right my Mac is unlocked it asked me if I want to do anything else but I don't so I'm just going to exit it so the last shortcut I'm going to show you guys is for the people who are always posting gifts and things like that in their group chats this would be a good one for you so it's just a, a complete library of gifts anything you need all you have to do is click on the shortcut so you'll hit get gif let's say you're um you're a LeBron James fan so you're gonna write LeBron James hit done and there you go you have a library 
of LeBron gifts. So the last thing that I'm going to show you guys for all the shortcuts, which I will have posted with the link in the description, being that these shortcuts are not from Apple, you do need to toggle a setting to be able to access them. So you're going to go to your settings and you're going to scroll down until you see shortcuts. You'll hit shortcuts. You want to make sure you have allow untrusted shortcuts toggled on. And basically what this says, it says allow receiving untrusted shortcuts from outside the gallery. These are shortcuts that were created from other developers. Obviously, you're going to do your own research. I haven't had any problems with any shortcut that, I, that I've installed. But also, just know that you're installing these shortcuts at your own risk. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And stay tuned for a lot more things tech. Thanks for watching.